Welcome to class tonight. Um, I have uh, tried to fix the volume on my mic, so hopefully you guys hear it a little bit better. The air conditioner is not even on anymore, so hopefully that won't cause any noise. So we are ready to just slow it down and um, feel really good. So let's get ourselves on the mat. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you. I was going to say I have a playlist, but I forgot to put it in the thing. So just go ahead and play whatever playlist you want tonight. And um, let's get moving. Um, I don't know what that means. I don't know what a frame rate is. They just changed this. They just freaking changed this entire thing again. And I don't understand it. I don't know. I like. I just wish Facebook would stop and just stay normal because every time they do an update, none of it makes sense. Uh, so hopefully this is okay because it just told me something about this like frame rate and I don't even know what that is. So hopefully, hopefully we're all good. All right, I'm gonna go over onto the mat. I think the frame rate has something to do with my webcam. What the heck? All right, give me one second, guys, because I don't know what this is. 50 to 60? No, I'm going to ignore that because I have no idea how to switch the settings, and I will switch that next time. Um, I, I think it might be because I'm too close, so I'm going to go over there. All right, let's get going. Enough of this. Find a comfortable seated position on your mat. Oh, I think it's moving to slow. Okay, I'll figure that out next week, guys. Um, it should be fine for the duration of the class. It keeps popping up. This is ridiculous. Okay, give me a second because I'm gonna I'm gonna try to figure this out and I might have to sign out. I'm so sorry. I don't like. I don't know how to set it. You guys are gonna watch me figure this out. All right, choose some of the following fit rank and then stations. What does it say? Fifteen to sixty. Okay, so this one. I hate this. I hate this. I don't know how to change it. Viewer? No, that's not it. Why would they have me do this when they don't even tell me where to do it? We're just gonna do class and then I'll and then I'll try to figure that out and hopefully it stops popping up. It would be really helpful, right? If it was like, hey, you need to do this, and then they gave directions for how to do it, not just tell you you need to do it and then not show you how. <sighs> I need yoga tonight. Okay, <laughs> let's get let's get moving. All right, so as I said, come to find that comfortable seated position on your mat, whatever that looks like for you, and go ahead and hit play on the playlist that you want to listen to this evening. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. You can close your eyes if that feels good to you, or you can leave your eyes open. Inhale and exhale. And then go ahead and open your eyes. We're going to move along because I know that I chatted a bit in the beginning. So take an inhale and reach your arms all the way up to the ceiling. And then exhale, lower them back down. Inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, lower them down. Take another inhale, reach those arms up, and then this time, exhale, coming forward. Now, I have my right shin in front, but it won't matter. You're just going to swap when we're done. And walk your hands over to the left. Take some breaths here. Walking it back to center and over to the right. Keeping your left hip on the mat. 
Feeling that stretch all along the side of the body, getting into the hips a little bit more than we usually do in our opening side stretches. Come back to center and then curl yourself all the way back up, reaching the arms up. And then exhale, bring them halfway. Now, palms are up, bring your fingers into your shoulders and open into your shoulders and open. One more time into your shoulders and open, beautiful. Now go ahead and bring your arms down so you can flip the other shin in front. So now my left shin is in front. If you had started with the left, just swap them. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, lower to a forward fold. Walk your hands over to the right. Take some breaths here. And to center. And then over to the left. And back to center. Walk your hands all the way up and then walk your left fingertips over to the left. Reach the right arm up and over. Sweep that right arm forward over to the right. Sweep the left arm up and around. Side bend over to the right. Sweep the left arm down to the left. Right up and look underneath. And one more time, right arm sweeps down, left comes up. Look underneath. Beautiful. Bring yourself back to neutral, that center position, and reach your arms out to the side, circles forward for one, two, three, and circles back for one, two, three. Beautiful. Hands come all the way down to the floor. And then you can pull yourself forward, coming into tabletop. Wrists are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. Go ahead and take an inhale here. Reach the chin up towards the ceiling, dropping the belly button towards the mat. Go ahead and exhale as you draw the belly button up to the spine, curling the back. Inhale, look up. Lift the chin, lift the chest. Exhale, curl. One more time. Inhale and lift up. And exhale and curl. Bringing yourself back to a neutral spine. Move forward in the wrists. To the right. Back. To the left. And forward. Right back, left, and forward one more time, right, back, left, and forward, reversing directions, bring yourself forward, left, back, right, forward, left, back, right, and forward, and one last time, left, back, right, and forward, beautiful. Flip your fingers so that they're coming away from the mat and take an inhale here, drop your belly button low, wiggle in the hips a little bit. And then exhale, push the mat away. Coming to a flat back, you can move your fingertips back towards your knees this time. If that doesn't feel good, go back to the long sides of the mat and take an inhale, lift the chin up, belly button drops. Exhale, push the mat away. Push those palms into the mat. Come to a flat back and go ahead and walk your knees in just a little bit as you sink your booty down to the ground. Get a little bit of a wrist stretch here. Now, the closer your knees are to your hands, the less it is in the wrist. So if your wrists are really achy, go ahead and bring your knees in a bit closer. Coming off the hands, flipping so that we're palm up and then sinking back into the booty, to the heels a little bit more. Getting into the forearms here. Good. Sinking all the way onto the heels, reaching the hands up and shake them out. 
Clasp the hands together, make figure eights in the wrists. Be very gentle here, moving really slow. Reverse the direction. And then go ahead and make a roller coaster if you can, bringing the elbows together, moving through the wrists, and then reverse direction. Beautiful. Coming back to your tabletop, reach the right arm all the way up to the sky, and then bring that right arm through the left, bringing your right ear down to the mat. Taking a moment here, before we move into the next part of this pose, I want you to walk your right or your left fingertips up towards the top of the mat and just take a minute here to stretch that arm. So get as high as you can so that you can feel the stretch in your armpit. Slide that right hand or that left hand, I apologize, back in. Bring your left foot back towards the back of the mat and then slide it up to the left so that it's parallel with your belly button. Staying here if you're comfortable or reaching that left arm up towards the ceiling. Flip the palm and then bring that left hand back towards the right hip crease. Roll your shoulder blade up and open and move your head up a little bit. Not your head, your, your gaze, I guess. So your gaze is towards your foot so that you're not like sinking it, is what I'm saying. Opening up the chest. Release that arm down to the mat. And now before we come back, we're actually going to slide our right hand in. So keep that left foot out to the side. And I want you to bring your forearms down to the mat. If you can, if you just want to sink down a little bit, just getting into the inner thigh. Just a bit. Bring the palms of the hands down to the mat to push you up. And then see if you can lift up. Inhale up high. Exhale, side bend over to that left foot. Reach up high. And bring the hands down. Slide that left foot in. Reach the left arm all the way up to the ceiling and then slide the left hand underneath the right arm, coming to rest the left ear onto the mat. Creeping those right fingertips up towards the top of the mat to give yourself that stretch first. And then walk your right hands back in so that you can bring your right foot back towards the back of the mat and then forward in line with your belly button. Keeping the stretch here or reaching that right arm up towards the ceiling, flip the palm and then bring that right hand to reach for the left hip crease. Reaching the right arm up towards the ceiling and then bring it down to the mat. Slide that left arm back through, keeping the hands on the mat and then lowering to the forearms. Taking a little bit of an inner hip stretch here. Pressing the palms of the hands into the mat to lift you up. And then coming all the way up, reaching the arms up towards the ceiling, and then side bend towards your right leg. Gaze is up underneath the left arm. Arms are reaching out towards that foot. Bringing your arms back up, lowering your arms to the mat, bringing the right leg back in. Bring the big toes to touch, spread the knees wide, about max distance apart, and then coming down into your first child's pose. Pull yourself forward, tuck your toes under, and lift your knees, come into your first down dog. Now, before we even get going here, I want you to take your hands and bring them to the outside of the edges of the mat, so the wide edges of the mat. You're gonna grip the mat, so you're gonna hold the mat, push the mat away, sink back into your thigh, like towards your thighs. Bend your knees deeply, 
straighten the legs. Bend the knees deeply, straighten the legs. One more time, deep bend here, straighten those legs. Now, if you can't get your heels all the way down to the ground, that's fine. You're just working towards it. Release the hands, bringing the hands flat to the mat. And then baby step your feet all the way up to your hands. Hang in your forward fold. And then bend the knees, inhale the arms come all the way around and up. Hands come to prayer at heart center. Release the arms, roll those shoulders back. Three, two, one, roll your shoulders forward. Three, two, and one. Inhale, reach the arms around and up. Bring the hands to prayer, twist towards the right, reach the arms out, gaze comes back towards the right hand. Sweep the arms back up. Inhale here, exhale, hands come to prayer, twist towards the left, reach the arms out. Sweep the arms back up. And then exhale, forward fold, coming all the way down to the mat. Bend knees deeply here and then straighten. Bend knees deeply here and straighten. Bend the knees and straighten. Allow the head to hang, allow the arms to hang. Maybe go side to side if that feels good. Just taking three breaths here. So deep inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Deep inhale in. Exhale, let it go. One more deep inhale in. And exhale, let it go. Bend the knees, bring the hands to the shins, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right leg back. And then reach that left arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Circles forward for one, two, and three. Moving really slow here. Going back, reverse the direction for one, two, and three. Beautiful. Bring that hand down to the mat. Tap the back knee. One, two, and three. Lift it up. Step it forward. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Hands to prayer at heart center. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down to the mat. Allow yourself to bend your knees so you can pull your weight forward, lifting the heels up off the mat. Place the heels down, lift the toes and spread them wide. Plant the feet, lift the heels. Plant the feet, lift the toes. Plant the feet, the, all four corners of the feet are now on the mat. The toes are spread wide. Inhale, look up, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, step your left leg back. Reach the right arm up towards the ceiling, open it up, and then air guitar circles forward for three, two, and one. Reverse the direction for three, two, and one. Beautiful, keep it up high, and then lower the, left hand, the right hand down to the mat. Left knee taps down and straightens, tap down, and straighten, one more tap, and straighten, beautiful. Bring that back foot forward, hang in your forward fold. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Hands come to prayer at heart center. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Exhale, the hands come down, lacing behind your back. Now pull, okay, now this one's more about your posture than about like the stretch. So. Make sure that the palms are together. There can be a little bit of a bend here, but I want you to roll the shoulders blades back and puff out the chest, right? So we're standing with a puffed chest. So you can pull the hands a little bit away, but I want you to pull the hands to puff out the chest, not to get a deep shoulder stretch. It's just more about lifting the chin, chest is out. Now, you can stay here if you're just working on that, that um, posture, or you can reach your right leg up 
and circle it out for three, two, one. Reverse the direction for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Releasing the arms, inhale the arms up, keep that foot up. Bring the hands to prayer. Exhale the foot back to warrior three and hold for three breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more inhale, exhale, pull it all the way forward. Foot comes down. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down to the ground. Inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, inhale, the arms come around and up. And then exhale, those hands come back behind. See if you can put the opposite thumb on top, if you remember. I forgot to tell you to remember which one. So not a big deal. Just like flip if you can, or leave it if you don't remember. Roll those shoulder blades back, pulling the arms out a little bit to help you puff your chest out. Lifting the crown of the head up, lift that left foot up. Circles out for one, two, and three, reverse direction for one, and two, and three. Beautiful. Keeping the foot, release the arms, bring the arms all the way up, inhale. Exhale, hands come to prayer as you slide that left foot back for a warrior. Three, three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale, we pull that foot all the way forward. Inhale, the arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway look. Bring your hands to your shins. Lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right leg back. Step the left leg back and come into your tabletop. Keeping the knees together this time, untuck the toes, sink the seat back towards the heels, and then lower the forehead down. Slide the arms back. So you're coming into, I, forget, I think this is like egg. The arms are back instead of forward. It's another variation of child's pose. Slide yourself forward any way that you can. I can't do that belly slink because I messed up my shoulder. So if you want to join me, I'm just like kind of lowering down to get my belly button down onto the ground. Inhale, halfway look up into your baby cobra. Exhale, lower it down. Slide the hands off the mat. Keep the elbows up high. Tuck the chin. Lift up to your gecko cobra, opening your chest up. And then exhale, come down. Bring your hands back to the chest and then push into those hands to lift your chest up to full cobra. If full cobra is a little bit intense for you, bend your arms or come into sphinx by bringing the forearms down onto the mat. Whatever feels good, look over your left shoulder, twist a little bit here. Look over your right shoulder, twist a little bit here, and then lower it down. Lift your toes up so you can get the big toes to touch, and then push into those hands one more time, keeping the toes lifted. Getting into the tops of the thighs here. And lower the feet down. Lower the chest down. Coming into four or er, sphinx pose here. So lifting onto your forearms, making a 90 degree angle, bringing those elbows in underneath the shoulders here. And then press into the hands. Lift the fingers. Fingers down, forearms down. Press into the hands. Lift the fingers. Fingers down, forearms down. One more time, lift the elbows, lift the fingers. Fingers down, elbows down, chest all the way down. Bring your hands back behind your head and now lift your head up and lower. Lift your head up and lower. One more time, lift your head up and lower. Reach the right arm out to the side, right ear comes down, left palm is planted on the mat as you take your left leg and bring it up and over.
Now, if you want, you can take that left hand and reach back for that left ankle. If that feels good. If not, just release the left hand. Come back to center. Slide your right arm in. Slide your left arm out. Left ear down. Right foot up and over. And then same thing on this side. If you want to grab the foot, I can't do it on this side because my shoulder. Couldn't even do it on the other side though. Who am I kidding? And back to center. Inhale, lift back into your full cobra. Exhale, lower it down. Tuck your toes, sink your seat back towards your heels. Child's pose. Taking an active child's pose this time. So keep the booty up higher than normal. Or should we take puppy? No, let's take active child's. So bring your, your seat back towards your heels. Walk your fingertips forward, keeping the palms off the mat. Lift the elbows up, lower the chin. Plant the palms into the mat. Lift the knees down dog. Walk the feet up towards the hands. Hang in your forward fold. Bring your hands back behind your back. <laughs> bring the palms together. Lift the fingertips up towards the ceiling and pull those shoulders away from the ears. Straighten the legs and bend. Straighten the legs and bend. One more time, straighten the legs. And then slight bend, not a full bend. Curl all the way up until you are at neutral. Take that fist, bring it over to the left hip or the right hip. I'm on the right hip. Bring it to the right hip. Elbows back. Lift the crown of the head up and then lower the left ear to the left shoulder. Straighten so that the head is neutral. Bring the arms back and then over to the left hip. Squeeze the elbows. Lift the crown of the head and then lower the, left, the right ear to the right shoulder. And away. Inhale, reach those arms up. Bring the hands to touch and then give yourself a little back bend here. So the head goes back towards the back of the mat. The fingertips are up towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, all the way down into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, inhale the arms, come around and up, and to prayer. Bring your right leg forward, and then stop, and kind of coming into like a warrior three, but just for this transition, so warrior three, and then down to your high lunge. Good. Lower that back knee down, twist towards the left, and tuck your right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Press into the hands, Trying to bring the hands in line with the heart, opening up the chest. Take three breaths. Beautiful. Untwist and bring your hands down, but now listen to the directions because it's going to get a little tricky. Turn your left toes towards the left side of the mat as you walk your hands also towards the left side. Now lower, whoop, I got stuck on the mat. The right hip down to the mat, does that make sense? So I'm gonna turn so you guys can see me because I was like, if that didn't work at all, just join me here. So my right foot is out straight, my left foot is stepping in front. Reach the left arm up and over and back towards the left foot, pressing into this right hand. Beautiful on twist, bringing yourself right back into that original pose. Ta da! Hands come down, step the back foot forward, forward fold. I'm gonna spin myself so you guys can see me. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bring that left foot up. And remember, we're just coming into warrior three for the transition. So inhale, 
Exhale it back, bringing yourself into that T position and then lowering the back foot down, coming into your high lunge. Briefly to hold, like the stability of it, working on your stability and then lower the back foot down. Bring yourself over towards the right side of the mat. Tuck your left arm to the outside of that right thigh. Press the hands together, open up the chest. Take three breaths. And on twist, bring your hands down. Now try it again on this side because one side might be easier than the other. You're going to take this right foot and turn it towards the right side of the mat. And then you twist down. It's a lot smoother on this side, at least for me. Now you can move that foot so that it's more in line with the left thigh because sometimes it is up here. That's not accessible to a lot of people. Sweep your right arm up and over and stretch here. Just feel that stretch, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Bring the right arm back in front of you. Turn yourself back to that starting position and bring the back foot forward. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Hands come to prayer at heart center. So now we're going to like start slowing it way down and holding the poses for a little bit longer. So inhale, the arms around and up. Exhale, down to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right foot back and lower it down. Bring both hands to the right knee. Now, as you can see, my back knee is a little bit further back than it was before when we were like 90-90. If you need to adjust once you get into this pose, go ahead and adjust. But Because I, I like to have my knee further back. And then I sink my heels forward, some, my hips forward. Some people don't like that. Some people like their knee there. And then to like sink forward like that. It's kind of just, you know, your preference. But protect your knees. So do what you have to do to protect your knees. So both hands are on the right knee. And then we sink our hips forward. So sink the hips down and up. And reach those hands back to help lengthen the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take one more inhale. And exhale. Straighten it up a little bit here. And I want you to take your right or your left hand, sorry, and move it out towards the left. So you don't have to hit the ground but moving it out towards the left and then sweep your right arm up and over. Now, if the ground is accessible to you, go ahead and lower that left hand down, but don't worry about it if it's not. Just give yourself a little bit of a side bend and then returning to neutral. Beautiful. Bringing the hands inside the right foot. And now this is our first pose we're gonna hold for one minute. So, get comfortable. <laughs> Let me start the clock. Don't get into it yet if it's already tight for you because I have to start this clock. All right, one minute and go. About halfway through, keep breathing. And done, sink the seat back to come off of that. Slide the right foot all the way towards the back of the mat, keeping it straight. Press back like you're dropping that back heel towards the floor, giving yourself a calf stretch. Then come off of it, reach the right leg up, and then slide it over to the left and tap, up, over to the right, up, over to the left, 
up, over to the right. Beautiful, and back into center. Tuck your toes under, lift the knees, come into down dog. Walk your feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Exhale, forward fold. Step the left leg back, lowering the knee down. Bringing the hand, oops, wrong one, sorry. Step the right leg back, lower the knee down. Bring the hands to the left knee. I apologize, meet me here. Hands to the left knee, untuck the toes, sink the hips, inhale, look up. And then reach the arms up and back to get deeper into that back bend for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do one more. And then ease off of it a little bit so you can readjust. Walk your right fingertips out towards the right. If you can make it to the ground, make it to the ground. Left arm sweeps up and over. If not, it's not that big of a deal. Just reach the, the right arm out. Giving yourself a little bit of a side stretch here. And coming out of that, bringing both hands to the center of the, or the inside of the left leg. And we start our one minute here. If you're feeling some knee sensitivity on that right knee, press the top of your foot into the mat to kind of take the weight off of the knee itself. So see if you can kind of like lift it up. Just play with that to make your knee as light as possible. Halfway through here, keep breathing. Maybe try looking up, pulling your chest forward, see if that feels good. Keep walking your hands towards the right side of the mat as you pull yourself up into the center. Moving side to side here, so dipping into the right foot and then walking over and dipping into the left. Dip to the right and dip to the left, maybe separating your feet wider as you go. Just kind of playing around with how that feels, what you like what feels good. And then when you find yourself in center, I want you to move your toes more towards a 45 degree angle inward. And I want you to bring your hands moving towards being in line with your feet. So it's okay if they're not on the ground, but kind of bring them down in line with your feet. Now you have a couple options here. Option one, bringing the hands down in line with your feet. Option two, bringing your hands to the ankles. Or option three, walking your hands further back, like they're moving back towards the ankles. You can do any one that feels good to you. We're going to be here for a minute. So just hang, let your head be heavy. Keep breathing. Walking your feet back towards that left foot, bringing your left toes and your right toes towards the, fit, the front of the mat, the top of the mat, and then bring your right foot to meet your left, hanging in forward folds. Taking a moment here, release the head. Maybe the arms come, or the hands come elbow to elbow, opposite elbows. We hang.
bend the knees and straighten, bend the knees and straighten, bend the knees and straighten. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Hands to heart center, twist towards the right, open it up, gaze comes back towards that right fingertip. And up, hands to prayer, twist towards the left, open up, hands, gaze is towards the left fingers. And back. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right leg back. Step the left leg back in your plank position. Oh my goodness, did we forget? I forget. I think we forgot the other side. Bring those knees down. Left foot comes back. Reach the left heels towards the back of the mat. Get that stretch. And then come off of it. Lift it up. Over to the right. And tap. Over to the left. And tap. Over to the right, and tap. Over to the left, and tap. Beautiful, come back to center. Now come into your plank, lowering it all the way down, nice. All right, bringing your hands into your sphinx arms. Elbows are underneath the shoulders. Trying to get as close to a 90 degree angle as you can. And then bringing your right foot in. Now we are gonna hold this, this thigh stretch for a minute, but if you can't make the connection, just Keep the foot lifted, just work on that. Bring your right hand back for the foot and gently tug it in, holding here for one minute. Halfway through. When class is over, I will figure out the settings of this for why it's telling me that the video that I've always used is somehow no longer acceptable. Bring the foot down. And other side. Left foot comes in, left hand reaches back, gently tugging the left foot towards the booty. Halfway through. And releasing the foot. Sink the seat back towards the heels. And you can bring the toes under because we're going to come into fire toes just for, not even for that long, just for a couple seconds here. Um, so for some of you, this might be like incredibly painful and for others, they might not even really uh, feel it too much. But I want you to make sure all your toes are tucked under, even the pinky. And just kind of sit nice and tall and take some breaths here. So deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. And out. One more deep breath in. And out. Coming off those toes. Now re-tuck your, your toes. And now this is, you know, can equally be a challenge for people. We're going to work on some ankle flexibility. So bring your hands back. Now for some of you, this might be it. This, you might already feel some intense intensity in your, in your uh, ankles. So that's fine. 
If you can lift your right knee up, go ahead and lift your right knee up. And lower it down. Lift your left knee up. And lower it down. Keep moving back and forth, but if you'd like to try, you can lift both knees up. And now if you're here and you don't really feel anything or you feel something but you're fairly confident, see if you can bring your right arm forward. I don't know if I can do this. Ugh, left arm forward and try to balance. Roll your shoulder blades back. And bring those knees down slowly. Beautiful job, everyone. All right, coming on to your booty. Reaching the legs out wide. No fancy way. Just coming into a wider than a Y, a little bit wider than a Y, um, but still feeling comfortable. So don't push so hard. Don't go like where you can't be comfortably. And then I think most of you have taken class with me before. So you know that I like to bring my hands back because it helps me to push my hips forward because I feel like my hip, well, like my hips are like, I don't know, inverted. I, I don't know. I don't know. But it's very hard, it's very difficult for me to sit up, my hips sink back. So moving forward for me, I'm like going against where my hips naturally want to lie. So I like to bring my hands behind to anchor me so I can push forward. So that's why my hands are behind. But if you can like actively walk forward and that's not a bother to you, walk your fingertips forward or flex these feet and bring your hands to your ankles. Those are the options. No matter what, we're all gonna have flexed feet, but you can bring your hands forward to the ankles or back behind you, whichever one is the most comfortable to you. And we're only here for a minute, so clock starts now. Keep breathing. Keep those feet flexed. Maybe go a little bit lower. We are at our halfway mark, so if you want to pull yourself into a deeper variation that's comfortable, go ahead. Beautiful. Pull yourself all the way up. Wiggle your finger. Sorry, this is not a toddler class. <laughs> Bring your hands underneath your knees. Pop your knees up and then slide your heels together. I'm so sorry that just happened like without me even thinking to wiggle fingers. <laughs> Didn't have to do that. Lace your fingers. And bring them around the toes, coming into your butterfly. Now, if it feels good to you and you want to do a little pulsing, go ahead and pulse just ever so gently here. All right. Now, depending on how you feel, if you feel like a little bit loosened up and you'd like to try the next few poses, go ahead. If not, just stay in your butterfly and chill out here. This is this is perfect. The next one is just a, a fun little, it's not... It, it, Challenge is not the right word. A fun little series, we'll call it. All right, so you can stay in your butterfly, pulsing the feet, or you can sit nice and tall, and then you're gonna grab your right foot. So you can grab the ankle, you can grab the calf, you can grab the toes. I like to grab like, I like to grab my toes, I think. And it's not even pretty. It could be pretty if you take the peace fingers and bring it around the big toe. That's also accessible to you. I just take a claw and claw my foot. So you're going to reach your right foot all the way up and out and just take three breaths here, holding here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more inhale, exhale, bring it down. Beautiful, a little bit of pulsing in between. And then switch sides, grabbing your left foot. Reach the left leg out and hold for three breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, lower it down and pulse. All right, now if you did those two and you're good with those and you feel like you got the stretch that you wanted, just stay there. The last one, this one is a little bit of a challenge pose. 
So this one might be, this one's a little, this one's a challenge, this last one. So you're gonna grab both feet, however you wanna do it, the ankles, the shins, the calves, the toes, whatever. And then I like to kind of lean back a little on my tailbone first and I bring my heels up, just to make it a little bit of an easier transition. You're gonna lift the feet up so you can find your balance and then straighten the legs out and hold for three breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's do one more inhale and then exhale, lower it down with control. Beautiful, pulsing one last time. And then stepping the soles of the feet down on the mat. Go ahead and sway those hips side to side. Beautiful. Lowering down onto your back. Go ahead and take that right foot or that right ankle and bring it onto the left knee. So we're doing our reclined figure four. Go ahead and bring that left shin parallel to the mat. Take your right hand through that figure four and just gently tug the knee down. If you can't bring it to the knee, you can wrap it around the, the uh, behind the thigh if that's accessible to you. Now slide or take your hand, my right hand, bring it to the outside of the right foot as you lower the left leg down, taking a half happy baby, bringing the right sole of the foot up towards the ceiling. And just hold. And gently release both feet to the ground. Soles of the feet come back and you're gonna windshield wiper a little bit here just to get into those hips. Good, bring yourself to neutral. Take the left leg and bring it onto the right knee. Lift the right uh, shin parallel to the floor. Take your left hand, figure forward in here and just gently tug the right knee in. This side is so tight for me always, I don't know why. I need to work on it a little bit more, I think. Awesome. Now take your left hand, bring it to the outside of the left foot as you lower the right leg down Bring that left sole of the foot up towards the ceiling and hold. And releasing that foot now all the way down to the mat. Windshield wiper those feet one last time. Bring your feet to neutral or bring yourself to neutral, not your feet. Pop your hips over to the right side, lower your hips or your knees to the left. Reach your right arm, open gaze to the right. Take some breaths here. Soles of the feet come back to neutral. Bump your hips over to the left side of the mat. Knees fall to the right. Left arm opens up, gaze to the left, take some breaths here. Bring both knees back to neutral. Bring the soles of the feet together here and allow the knees to fall open so that you are in a reclined Baddha Konasana. Take the palms or of your hand, the, the bottom of your hand, I don't know what to call this, and then t whatever that is, the, the boot of the palm, I, I don't know. And take that and bring it right into that like hip crease and just push down a little bit to pull the spine away from the hips. So just pushing the thighs away, lengthening the crown, and then release, let it go. Taking a few breaths in your Baddha Konasana. 
Just allowing gravity to pull those knees down closer towards the ground. And then release, bring those legs out straight in front of you. Give them a shake, a shimmy and a shake, a shimmy and a shake. Beautiful. Get that excess energy out as you reach your arms out to the side, drawing a deep breath in through the nose and exhale it out. Deep breath in through the nose and exhale it out. And then allow your hands to find whatever final pose they need for class. So maybe you like your arms out wide or maybe you prefer to bring your hands to your belly, hand to heart, whatever you want to do. Go ahead and make yourself comfortable in your final relaxation. Take a deep breath in through the nose here and then loud exhale, audible exhale, sigh it out. Deep inhale. Audible exhale. One more time, deep inhale in. Audible exhale. Allow yourself to drift off for these final moments of class. This is for you to just soak up the practice and let yourself drift. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. When you feel ready, you can begin to wiggle the fingers and wiggle the toes, drawing attention and movement back into the body. Take an inhale and reach your hands above your head, stretching the arms out long, and then stretch the legs out. So taking that, that good morning stretch where you're moving side to side a little bit, you're just stretching the limbs out. And then on your next in exhale, go ahead and draw your knees into your chest and loop your arms around your knees to hug them close. If your arms can't make it around the shins, just gently tugging down on the knees. The sensation here is to tug the knees in however that needs to look for you. When you feel ready, you can roll over onto your favorite side, whatever side that might be, and use the arm of that side as a pillow for your head. Taking the opposite hand and draping it across the front of the body and then press the palm of that opposite hand into the ground to help push you up to a seated position. Hands come onto our knees, palms are facing up. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale, release. Bring the hands to Jolly and Mudra prayer position in front of the heart. And as always, take that bow to yourself. Bow to yourself for showing up. Bow to yourself for just honoring your body and being grateful for your body. Taking a moment to feel gratitude for yourself and then extending that gratitude to the practice of yoga and honoring all the yogis that have come before that have brought us this practice in the West so that we can benefit from it, so that we can grow from it. Just always remembering where this practice comes from and showing and displaying gratitude in our hearts for those people, for the people who have brought it here to us. Taking a deep breath in, exhale it out. The light within me bows the divine light in each one of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me tonight. I hope it was a little bit clearer now that the air conditioner isn't on. Um, I also like raised the volume, so I hope that that, fi that fixed the issue. Um, so, you know, right when I fix one issue, there's another issue. So Facebook, for those of you that weren't here in the beginning, Facebook did a new update to their live settings, um, which is massively confusing for me. I just like tried it and it was not what I was used to. And it's telling me that I have too low FPS. 
So now I have to look that up. I don't, I don't know what that is. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for bearing with tonight. And hopefully I will have FPS figured, figured out for next time. I don't know why it would be different. It's literally the same setup that I've used for the past two years. But apparently now it's not accurate. So I will be figuring that out within the next week, hopefully. And, uh, and we'll go from there. But you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I will see you next week. Mm -hmm. Have a good night.